Hi there, guitar fans. This is uh, Walt from uh, Guitar Gear, Gear at Hubpages.com. I am reviewing today the uh, <clears throat> Alvarez Yairi JY84. This is a 2003 model. I don't even know if they make them anymore. But I just wanted to say that the Yairi, Alvarez Yairi guitars are some of the best in the world. This guitar has a solid spruce top, match coral rosewood back in size. Let me show you the back. Mahogany neck, ebony fretboard with cat's eyes and snowflake mother of pearl inlays, an ebony bridge. Uh, it has an abalone rosette which you can't see because of my makeshift uh, feedback blocker that I made out of uh, made out of masking tape, the same masking tape that is holding on the Microsoft Life Cam that this is being broadcast from. It's attached to a guitar stand. So there's my low tech. Uh, recording studio. Uh, it has um, Grover tuners, um, uh, what else? Grover tuners, bone nut, um, all handmade by Kazuo Yairi, the famous uh, famous Japanese luthier. Uh, from what I hear, uh, Yairi stockpiled woods from the 60s and 70s in warehouses over in Japan and that's where he's still making these guitars. This is a 2003 model. I'm not sure if they even still make this particular guitar. I'm using uh, Elixir 10s on this thing. I don't believe in 12s. I mean it gets a little funky on my fingers. Uh, I'm playing it through a Super Champ XD on the uh, first channel, on the clean channel. And uh, what I have here, the reason I got this masking tape, this L I have an LR Bags M1A. If you're thinking about getting an LR Bags sound hole pickup, it's probably better to get the M1 because uh, you can use your um, amplifier to, to, to adjust the volume. This has a volume adjustment up inside this little plastic housing here and it didn't last long. It only lasted me about six months but the bad part of it is the active pickup has the battery in it and it's a feedback monster. So I don't recommend this pickup but the M1 would probably be good. Uh, I'm going to play you one more tune um, that I uh, picked up uh, it's called uh, The Water is Wide. It is a Scottish folk tune, uh, and this arrangement is by Andrew York. Uh, I didn't get the whole thing. I only got bits and pieces of it off the internet. I can't find the entire music for it. So I got like two pages, and I will learn the rest of it at some point whenever I find the rest of it. I don't know if I should write to Andrew York or what. But anyway, he's got a really a ton of stuff that's awesome. Andrew York, he's great. So anyway, I'm going to try to attempt this thing. This is the short version of it. I mean, it's uh, it's not true to uh, spec, but uh, we'll check it out and see if you like it. So here it goes. It's called uh, The Water is Wide. Oh yeah, by the way, I, I have my E string tuned down to D. I just...
that's a short version of that. Okay, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. And if you get a chance, buy yourself an Alvarez Yairi guitar. Try to get the one with the. Uh, try to get by the electric acoustic. They're very reasonable. You can find them on eBay, and if not. Uh, you can contact St. Louis Music and they'd be glad to sell you one.